Hi, Carl here for Pro AV TV. I'm at IBC 2019 over at the Aperture stand talking to Ted about their new C300DX, their new bicolor fixture. So Ted, tell us about the C300X. Yes, indeed, 300X. So X is standing for, of course, our crossfade. This is X like the Emerin MX, our right. bicolor version of the M series. This is really something that we've been asked for for a long time now. Yeah. People want a point source light that's bicolor. Sounds simple in theory, but we've seen a lot of really kind of inelegant ways of doing it. And it's actually a really pretty difficult problem to do in engineering. It seems like it should be so simple. It should be simple, yeah. but here's the problem. In panels, it's not a problem because you can do multiple LEDs and dim in between daylight and tungsten. That's all bicolor really is, dimming between two different types of LEDs. Problem though is when you have a point source, you gotta get one exact spot to dim between daylight and tungsten. Okay. Problem though is that most lights that I've seen in this form factor, they either have two chips, a daylight and a tungsten chip, which okay. makes two separate shadows, and okay. the left side of your light is tungsten when the right side of your light is daylight. Worse, I've also seen lights that take one chip and they actually striate them. They took like little stripes on them in daylight and tungsten. Problem with that is that if you put a Fresnel or any kind of optic on it, like a spotlight mount or something like that, you will literally see lines of light yeah, yeah. in your actual textures. So what we've got here is we've actually got the world's first bicolor point source that is really consistent the entire way through. So, X standing for bicolor, I can go all the way down to 2,700 Kelvin. I can go all the way up to 6,500 Kelvin. And what that means is that our middle color temperature, so everything from 4,400 up to about 5,500, so about daylight to a kind of a mid tungsten, that's gonna give you about the intensity of a 300D Mark I. So you still get a ton of punch. And then at the ends there, 2,700 and 6,500, we're talking approximately about the intensity of a 120D Mark II. Oh, uh, okay, fine. Yes. Right, okay. So stronger in the middle and sort of less yeah. output towards the end. So one of the things that we actually worked on though, in addition was that for some people, especially when you're doing precision lighting, we have a second mode there. So we have one mode that maximizes brightness. We have a second mode that will actually watch and maintain your brightness along the entire way. So we'll actually make sure that your color temperature, when you change it, you'll keep the same intensity. Because sometimes you don't want to, you know, just because you're trying to change color temperature doesn't mean you want all of a sudden to be overexposed or underexposed. Absolutely. You've got your, your lighting set up exactly the way yeah. you want it, the brightness the way they want yeah. it, the backlight's just the right I strength. just want to warm just it up a little bit. bit. That's it. So we have a second mode there for precision lighting. That's something we got asked for, something that we programmed in with firmware. Uh, this is not available yet, really. It's the first time that we're showing it ever. But we do expect that this will be available by February of next year. Okay. Uh, price is not set on either yet, but again, first time we're showing it. Just to say, yeah, the problem has been solved. I know you guys didn't think it was a problem, but it was, it was a problem. It was something we were working on for quite a period of time, uh, and it's finally here. Yeah, it yeah. was really exciting. Cool. Absolutely. Cheers. Thanks, man. Appreciate it.